What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Clickbait. Like always, we are going to give you Bachelor Nation breakdown. We have a lot this week. Plus, three couples got engaged in paradise. And you know what? I'm one of them. And then, yes, you like that. And then our special guests, I can't wait for Riley and Marissa. But before they get here, let's uh, break down the first article, shall we? Yay, let's go. We have a new trailer released for Brooke Blurton's season of The Bachelorette Australia. She is the first openly bisexual lead in franchise history. All right. So how we feel about that? Amazing. I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to be so wild in the sense of like what if people hook up like the the con- like the contestants that are competing for her heart like what if they decide to hook up if they're not getting the attention i'm like this gonna be real crazy i'm ready how they gonna split people up are the guys gonna be with the guys <laughs> or the girl i have so many questions i don't even know what's gonna happen i'm ready to tune in though i want to go to australia <laughs> can we talk about her video though yes let's do it her dress is insane the landscape is incredible i mean i think we got to kind of step it up because (laughs) although we can't really get these kind of coasts um over here but this her video was stunning she is gorgeous i I agree with you natasha i really want to know what's going to really go down and how they're going to kind of like separate all the people in the house Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. this is a huge twist um it's not like dance with the stars like two females dancing together and can still compete with everyone this is love we got um I feel like this could here. easily turn into paradise. <laughs> easily, 100%. Right? I agree. Yes. I agree. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think it's going to be very entertaining to watch. Yeah, I thought she looked really hot in her red dress, and she's standing in like the middle of a desert, maybe. It's what beautiful. A- no, it's not a desert. It's water there. Joe. Oh, There's is it water? An ocean. Yeah. yeah ocean. Joe. I was like, all right, this is going <laughs> to okay. get this is going to get wild, but. I'm uh, I'm into it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Everybody stay tuned to that. Um, it could be the first time Bachelorette ends in a throuple. Maybe she gets yeah. a guy and girl. <laughs> I mean, wait, that could be crazy. Or how about that. this? Once the season ends, what if people that were on, like the contestants, find love together? Aww. So honestly, Joe, I really think that you're kind of on something with this whole like paradise. Twist. I'm going to say I, I think that's going to happen. I would, I, put, I would I, put my money on that on that happening. I would have to agree. Mm, I'm ready. So ready. All right, then. Um, I don't know if you guys seen it, but Michelle's premiere of her season of The Bachelorette it premiered last night on Paradise. What do you think? I thought she looked stunning. I so mean, we'll, come on. Well, I mean, that's obvious. So let's talk. She's about a showstopper. It. Yeah, that's that's. Wait, let's talk man. about it's, what's yeah. with the um. I saw a guy had like notebooks and folders, <laughs> right? Look, tell us, Tasha, tell us, I, Tasha, look, what you know about these notebooks and folders. Let's, let's just say I've never seen an Excel spreadsheet when it comes to dating before, but let's just say um, some people <laughs> like to write everything down. And um, it's definitely something to look out for on night one. I feel like, uh, I feel like pre-pla- never seen it before. pre-planning is um just getting more intense and the way everyone's going about it is they just keep getting caught it's like it's like they're going about it in such an obvious way but you got this is the thing and and you're right and i truthfully think that but i honestly think that as much of a dumpster fire this season of paradise was and it had a lot of highs Joe, which yep. we gonna get into. Go. Can't wait. There you go. Can't wait. Um, but if like it really kind of made people kind of realize, oh wait, I might not be able to actually get away with this shit. And I hope that it kind of changes, you know, the precedence for all of the seasons to come. Because I'm sorry, but like when you're thought out and you're methodical, it just comes out. The truth always comes out, and people really haven't like seen it play out like how it did on Paradise this season. Mm-hmm. So and see it backfire and actually see that you can start from up here and come back and, and, and drop down to down here. So I really think that people from this point on might start taking the show a little bit seriously, a little bit more serious. A little more serious. I, I agree. Well, this guy definitely in gets the moment. caught. Yeah, taking, taking 
book, being more serious about being in the moment, right? Yeah. Like that is, I think, what when this show um, really works for people is when it's like you don't have these preconceived thoughts of things and you're just yourself and you want to really see what happens and what connection grows in the moment opposed to waiting for other people or doing this and doing that and having all these things. I have a no, question. Robert. I have a question. You have an for elaborate you. plan. Do, don't you act differently? Yeah. Like you're not yourself. Yeah. Well, see, like that's the why act I didn't is going to come up. To, uh, I didn't give my life to Jesus and to, uh, <laughs> and to being in the mo and look in mindfulness because I can't act different. I just got to act who I am, be who I am. Preach you know on I mean? it, honey. Right now, <laughs> it I, I have, as well. I, I Preach on that. I have a question uh, for you, Tasha, because you were once the lead. Uh, mm -hmm. Does something like this that Somebody coming in pre-planned and then it getting exposed. Does that? How much does that affect you? In that spot is the Bachelorette, or does it matter on who the guy is? Well, yes, I think it definitely matters on who the guy is, but especially night one. I think that's truthfully one of your fears. Um, yeah. I mean, it's in the back of your mind. Um, like, are these guys actually here for me? How am I going to be able to decipher if they really do have a hidden agenda or um, if they're really here with looking for a genuine connection with me? And it's 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 scary because like when you start talking to everyone and you kind of like naturally see a connection or there are there is chemistry, those thoughts mm -hmm. kind of go in the back of your head and you're like, OK, wait, this can actually work like this is actually happening. It's happening for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when those realities kind of pop up then it makes you take a step back and just be like okay 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 wait, what has just happened this entire night like am i is that he's the only person i should be looking out for everybody else like it, it it really just kind of um it it kind of takes away from everybody else's experience truthfully yeah um when that happens because it kind of like makes you second guess a lot of people and it's it's natural it's rightfully so you know what i mean you don't want to like be too far like in fairy tale land and like oh my god no it's perfect you kind of want to try to fi find the red flags if you will but um i, mean, I don't know i know Those people kind of ruin it for everybody yeah i mean that's where my head would go my head would be like all right well who else is full of shit now yeah where well, see, where are the other red flags that's so scary to me because like you were talking about fairy tale land like literally that was <laughs> a little bit of my me being naive and just like trusting in the pro in the process. Yeah. It's like I was in fairy tale land in my brain. And so that's so scary to think about when you are a lead where it's like you know that these things happen and that people come with their plans and they're this and they're that and all that. But yeah, I, I'm like I'm you're st talking about this and I'm just like I should have been yeah. a little smarter about things. Well, yeah, but you also like, people you, keep you, telling you like surrender, just trust in the process. You know, yeah. just give in, yeah. like stop thinking too much. And the thing yeah. is, you can have a really good head on your shoulders. You know what yeah. I mean? But at the, the same time, like when the red flag starts showing, it's just like, okay, hold up. <laughs> yeah. But you, in order for, they, but, but Natasha, in order for the process to have worked for you in the paradise setting, I right. believe you had to do what you, you did. You had to let go. Yeah, absolutely. You, to, you, you didn't really have a choice. Yeah. It's and but like, even like hard. I'm just like, you know, anytime these things happen, you always like do these like life reflections. And I even recently had a thing happen with a girl that I was really I thought I was really cool with that I completely let my guard down and mm, bitch did some shady shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I thought you were going the other mm. way on that. I thought mm. you were gonna be uh mm. maybe you were joining the season of the Australian Bachelor. <laughs> I was like, all right, oh, I'm listening. I'm all ears right now. Oh. <laughs> Joe, well, you I know mean, what? You set it up. Uh, oh, God, this guy. No, Joe. Okay. No, I okay. Meant, okay. Right. Relationships, it's one thing. And then you would think with your friendships with other women, it's another thing. But yeah, I digress. <laughs> we're moving on. Moving on. Okay. Moving on. Joe, we're not we're entertaining on. that right now. We're not. We're okay. not. Get, get we your gotta head go. out the gutter. Out yes, the gutter. Sir. Uh, speaking of your head out of the gutter, Joe, yes. can we talk about something real quick? We sure could. I think yeah. we have a lot to talk about with you, yeah. Joe. Okay. And he, he is, like, we're on the wedding bells. He is engaged. <laughs> you know, Joe, I, you're engaged. I, engaged. I, I am engaged, yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
that. I'm so yeah. happy for you. How does it feel? Can you tell us, please, what it feels like to, to just you tell I mean, us? Honey, I was crying last night. I said, why is Joe doing this to me? What? Doing Honestly. It was, it was wasn't Honestly. I mean, it was extremely romantic. I, I, I do have to say so myself. After watching it back, I'm like, this is, this, this is like, beautiful. God, I'm <laughs> Shakespeare. Just, uh, I yeah I, honestly like I I'm just overall impressed with myself no I, I oh my god best. we gotta go yeah. where's I'd rather talk to watch. Serena right now I, yes. I know where is my girl um uh, for our listeners if you if you did not watch the season finale of Bachelor in Paradise just so stop listening to this and go watch it the grocer uh, honestly is now Joe the grocer engaged <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tell I'll tell you what the one of the most special moments um watching it back was seeing serena cry um cry in happiness in her, in, oh. yeah like like when she came to the realization that i can't believe i let myself go and i'm really yes. in love and it was it was before it was the conversation before our fantasy suites um yeah but yeah i i i'm really happy with I thought like, you know, you think when you, when you get engaged on the show, like there's a chance where you're like, what if, what if this was a, the wrong decision for both of us? Um, but it wasn't like, I'm, I, we're both really happy. And I, I, uh, a part of me is like, wow, like it worked. And it that's really because worked. I, uh, I, you know, you got to go on this show and you have to let yourself go. Like everybody, everybody yeah. talks about all the bullshit with the, producer this or producer that mm. and um i think a lot of people get caught in just trying to play the game or what they think the show is about but uh, the key to success in this show is just letting yourself go mm -hmm. and and letting and letting and leading with your heart i'm i'm gonna yeah. hype you up real quick for a second because do it i'm i'm all about being hyped up today yeah because <laughs> you know what um, like any day really but people, like, yeah people, let's be honest people talk about uh the producers and you know listen just being very honest the producers are a big part of the show there you went through a lot of shit on that mm -hmm. page with mm -hmm. Kendall specifically. And yeah. Yeah. when she walked down those stairs, I said, uh uh, I wanted no. to throw a shoe at the TV. I was so pissed. I said, How are they doing this to my Joe? How are no, they doing I this? I said that too. That, yeah, so I, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That mm -hmm. didn't phase me at all. But no, but what I'm saying okay, is, I have questions. Is that, I have questions. Yeah, but what I'm saying about that is, is like the like there are things that were happening that still could have thrown you off and thrown you off. But you let yourself go. You let yourself fall in love. You were clearly still thinking about Serena in that moment. It did not mess you up. You were completely over the situation. And like for another person, maybe that would have thrown them off or whatever. And I just think that the strength that you show you showed in that moment it, if i were serena i would have been like mm -hmm, that's bae look yeah. i made the right decision right yeah so yeah i want to hype you up there because i was like honey i would have crumbled i said i would have been like oh no y'all didn't do this i'm like Kendall, get out of here I'm about well, to propose. Yeah. get out of here well, and pe i think people get so caught up in um the edit and how they're gonna look or what comes out of their mouth and i remember they don't show this but wells actually came down and talked to me um for like a oh. few minutes after Kendall came down, he's like, how are you? I'm like, uh, I'm like, to be honest, like, I'm fine. Like, <laughs> like I, my decision is made. I, I know what I'm about to do right now. And he's like, you're just so calm about it. That's I'm like, strong, oh. baby. I'm like, cause if this, like, here's the truth is if that would have messed Wait, me right. up or, or mm -hmm. threw me off, then mm -hmm. maybe I wasn't ready to get engaged. Right, right, right. Um, wow. right. That's fact, a very the, good point. Yeah. And the fact that it didn't, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm that much more confident in getting down on one knee. Um, now. So yeah, I, yes. I, I, it didn't, uh, yeah, it didn't fuck me up in the least. Oh, cheers to you. That's Did strength. That's strength. Uh, truthfully though, but also I'm in a way, in a sick way, I'm actually happy she did it then. Because honestly, I think, like you said, I think it just solidified the fact that, like, yeah, Serena's the person mm. that you wanted to be with. And yeah, well, it didn't mess you up at all. Yeah. But in your I wildest dreams... it was completely dreams, unnecessary. <laughs> it didn't have to I be was just going to say, in yeah, your wildest dreams, would you have done without it, obviously? But, like, did you ever think that Kendall would come back and kind of give you her blessing? Did you need her blessing? 
Well, I definitely didn't need her blessing. And like yeah. the closure thing, I still am, am I we we had closure before the show and I and I'll always stand by that. Yeah. Um, I yeah. you know, I can't obviously speak for her. Right. Um, you felt the closure. Yeah. yeah. But that like like yeah. her yeah. giving her blessing, yeah, I mean, it was unnecessary. I'm not resentful at all for it, you know, and I wish her the best, but totally. yeah, you know, that's over and um, I wish her the best too. And I really hope absolutely. that she's okay and like, and that she's going to, you know, find her person. Yeah. Um, can we have Serena on the podcast, please? Um, yeah, Where is I mean, she? I, I'll do my can best. Can you talk to Bay yeah. about Serena? Where is, is she? She's coming on the podcast next week. <gasps> next week. Yeah. Oh, my, do y'all hear that? Y'all better come yeah. listen and show. Yeah. Look, I got all the questions. Mr. For Serena. and Mrs. I'm going to hype her up too because I got yeah. some things to say. I'm going to keep that though for next week when Grocery I Grocery store that. Serena. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Then, so she taking you? I don't your know about that, name, Joe. I think you should fit, take her. In, in this, in this marriage, it's in this. Yeah, in this marriage. In mm. this. Well, yeah, we're not married yet. You're but getting married. This is a, a. You get a prefix and a last name. So oh, I love that. Gross wait. Okay, Serena. Serena I'm yeah. Joe, yeah. I have a question though, because I feel like you were pretty confident the entire like. F- once you found Serena in the beginning of the season. Yeah. You guys were pretty solid. You guys were doing yeah. pretty well. If at, at, at any point did you ever have any, well, I, I guess you did, did have a little bit of hesitation at one point, like, oh shit, like we have to get engaged at the end of this. But like, did you have any doubts? Like, did you ever think like, shoot, maybe we should just leave here being a couple and really test it out? Seems how you guys, ha- you have done that in the past. You left in a relationship, you dated for several years. Yeah. That didn't work. Like, did you ever have any um, hesitation at all hmm. i i think once um once we said we were falling in love with each other uh, mm-hmm. it took our relationship to another level and we just let it happen and it just happened so fast and it was just really really easy um i wasn't sure if i was going to get engaged at the end like i really that decision i i made like the day before but I was extremely mm-hmm. confident that we were going to leave together. And yeah. I had said before going on the show and during the show that I wouldn't get into another bachelor relationship unless I thought she was the one. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I had left, of course, before they got engaged. And I remember us having a conversation before I left and you were like, you were just so concerned with Serena, her age, her family. Like, I don't want to get engaged to her without talking to her parents first. That was rough. Like, that do, was uh, yeah. the yeah. not being you know, able to get his, her dad's blessing. Um, that yeah, sucked. I know you struggled with that. Um, but it was like, it was one of those things where it was like, this is, I mean, this is what it is and it, it's romantic and it's going to be surprising. And I knew this was the only time that her and I would get engaged in life that she would be really surprised. Um, right. Because she, so no. she didn't she think didn't so either. No. She didn't she think, think so. so either. Because no. I remember talking to her and she was just like, yeah, like, you know, I know Joe's amazing. He's great. Like all the things. And she was like, she was, we're going to leave together. And that was so that. So when I found out that you guys were engaged, I was so surprised because I said, I know they're going to leave together. But I was so surprised and I was so happy. Uh, Yeah. So we could get into the clickbait. But I really want to talk to Serena because we just saw you guys make me cry yesterday. <laughs> I was crying. So. Oh, Joe, can you go get Serena, please? So you're because, changing um, the clickbait on me to call me out. All right, Serena. Yes. Serena, can you come on in? Could, could you come back? It's about being <laughs> engaged. Back I it mean, on up. I, I actually could. I could actually ask her about the clickbait because truly, it's about being engaged. And when do you know? And when should you know? And when should you do it? I mean, Serena, did you know he was going to do this? That he was going to propose? Absolutely not. I don't think he really knew until last <laughs> minute either. So this was not the plan. I mean, I'm very happy. I'm very excited. But it was definitely a shock. Yeah. I, I shock myself at how romantic I could be at times. But I never... <laughs> <laughs> Joe's world and I'm just living in it. Yeah. Aww, wow. I'm glad you knew that now, Serena. That, that is that not true. true. <laughs> that was really sweet. Uh, it's <laughs> sweet and I both felt the true. same way. <laughs> um wait okay so natasha well mm-hmm. just kidding serena wait <laughs> hi how are you i haven't met you before anyway oh, is this the first time you're meeting Tasha? um no we met when i did happy hour after Matthew oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. were you were hosting but very briefly that's true that's true 
Yeah, that's true. But First it's very brief. But this is like newly. This is a very different story. circumstance. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Tasha's my um, friend. Nice. Now you're introduced. Thank you. Tasha, thank yeah. you for the introduction. Yeah. <laughs> No. Okay. So give, like, tell me how you guys were actually feeling, how you were feeling, Serena. Um, especially when Joe said, Hey, Kendall just came down the stairs and she was here. Did that, I mean, you kind of like take a, took a little minute and we're like, what the heck does that mean? Um, but did you really have a feeling that he was going to propose? Like, that's really what you wanted when you were standing on that podium? Yeah. I mean, I don't, think I expected him to propose I definitely felt like if he did propose it would be very difficult for me to say no just because you know we were so in love I I felt like he was the one I felt like an engagement was definitely in our future just Mm -hmm. the logic in me was like you know we should maybe like live together and meet each other's parents first Um, we just did things a little out of order but yeah when I was standing at the podium I was just really excited and happy and in love and you know he obviously dropped the fact that Kendall had stopped by before I came down which quick stop by a quick stop by which um <laughs> well drive by yeah drive by combo on the way out but you know it was a shock but I mean it was such a big special day and moment for us I think that that's really where the focus lied and I felt like he wasn't shaken up by it you know when I asked if he was okay he genuinely seemed okay so I was like okay you know this is, can be a conversation for a later time you can fill me in later let's just stay focused on us and our relationship you're like get on your knee right now you're like you're like so <laughs> like, is there a do? ring can you do a 360 <laughs> what <party>? was that <laughs> honestly you really can't plan for these kind of engagements especially on these shows like you just don't know how you're actually going to be feeling in the moment and um I think the love that you find on these shows really does take you by surprise. Um, did that ever shock you? Like how, how much you didn't want to like leave without him? Cause I feel like paradise is a very special place. You can fall in love with someone very quickly because you spend so much time with them. Mm-hmm. Zach Grace over here. I really want him to say hi to you guys, but um, yeah, bring him over. Yeah. Did that shock you? Come here. Come say hi to the newly engaged couple. Oh my God, please excuse his bonjour. No, how? Bonjour. Oh, God. Oh, bonjour. Up, <laughs> <laughs> well, are you, guys, you guys are in Paris? Yeah. We're in Paris. Oh, See, this could so be your future. <laughs> Traveling the world together. We're all over the place right now. Everyone's in a different country. I know, yeah. I know. But did it surprise you how much you fell in love? Yes, yes, absolutely. And I'm sure you guys can relate to this. I mean, you go in open minded and, you know, hoping that you find love but like how in love we were in such a short amount of time and like the confidence that we built in the relationship and the longevity of it i mean Mm -hmm. it really is mind-blowing like i think it's really hard i don't know if i would fully ever understand it unless i experienced it like it's so unique and bizarre and amazing yeah but yeah i mean i'm still shocked to this day like (laughs) yeah (laughs) <laughs> yes. Okay, wait. So since we have Zach here, Taisha, Zach, do you guys have advice for the newly wed? Newly, why do I keep saying newlyweds? Newly engaged. Newly engaged. Couple, there you go. Newly engaged couple and navigating being up in the public eye now and, and dating. You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. Well, first off, congrats, guys. I mean, that's Thank you. Important. Thank you. <laughs> we look forward to meeting you uh, in person, Serena and Joe. We hope we can catch up soon. I don't know. For me, I heard someone say, like, you know, you're kind of doing it backwards, so just have patience with each other. You know, like, that's the name of the game. You're going to be, you know, you're engaged before, like, you you meet each other's parents or family, and there's just little things about each other that you're going to learn, and that's it. Patience for me. I mean, I don't know what you're referring to, because honestly, I'm a saint, but whatever. (laughs) She's like, I'm perfect. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean, Zach? (laughs) No, I yeah, have, like, I have um, a lot of patience for Serena. I I get it. So excuse um, me, what are you trying to say here? Take <laughs> <laughs> out, Serena. No. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, that's that's great advice. That's great advice. Yes, thank you, Zach. <laughs> and hopefully, no, we but, can travel to Europe soon. Yeah, we're very jealous. Well, of you should. Right yeah. We're very jealous. Yeah. Well, if you want to run a marathon, you can travel to Europe, right? You can come along. Yeah, he oh. did. He ran a marathon in London. I don't know if I want to go to Europe that bad. <laughs> 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 what about no you? but i guess like the other advice that i can give is i don't know try to make like special memories with each other right here right now you guys are finally able to go into the world which is something that we actually weren't able to do right off the bat 
Um, but I think that just having fun and starting to make memories is really, really, really important. It's, it sounds kind of silly, but I think this is a thing that makes you fall in love with each other more and experience things and get to know each other in a special way. So I think that try to do the little things, have fun, go make some memories. Joe, make her some pasta. I'm sure you already have. Um, I have, yeah. Serena, yeah, I don't know what your them. little quirks are, what makes you happy in life, but do those little things and share with each other and just really just cherish one another. It's going to take some time now. Like he said, he has a lot of patience for me. Um, again, I don't know nice. why. That, we'll silly. That, was, that, was, that, was, that was really sweet, actually. That was it nice. I, I wanted to come at you, but that was sweet. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> My dad always says, like, shared experiences is what keeps people together. And I think yes. we've been doing our best to create new memories in the confines of our, you know, bubble or restrictions the last couple of months. It's tough. It is tough. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been like quarantine all over again, but we've gotten to know each other really well just by hanging out on his couch. And now we're ready to like go out <laughs> into the world. <laughs> yeah. First, first time uh, today. Yeah, so. we haven't but, and, even gone out yet. Yeah. And Serena, your parents are still together. And Joe, your parents are still together, right? Yeah. That's so beautiful. There's, so there's a lot of wisdom to, to pick up from there too, from, from the parentals. So yeah. I love that for you guys. <laughs> thank you so much serena yeah no problem thanks for having and me you too in. zach thanks for popping in we love we, oh, yeah. we love a zach cameo <laughs> Yo, Natasha, good to see you too yes. i'm glad you're on the come up i see you uh, yes. oh he's just me and my boo right here <laughs> yeah right bullshit mm -hmm. i'm not buying that no well, well serena that. we have a lot to discuss with discuss with you and joe still but we're gonna save that for next week's episode and uh, we'll really get into the nitty gritty because I know you have some things to spill on our dude here. Oh, so yes, you'll come course. back next week and yeah. really and we'll really get into it, Serena. Sounds perfect. Thanks for letting me pop on. It was good to see you guys. All right, we'll go get some. Yeah, of course. Later. I'm starving. Good All right, to see you guys. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> Later, Zach. Later. All right. Well, you guys, um, thanks for calling Serena on, and it was really nice to see Zach. And that was actually a very fun conversation. So I was into yeah. it, but. You know what? This podcast right now, as much as I'd love it to be, it's not about me. Um, it is about <laughs> our guests that I'm so excited for. Um, got engaged with these two and they are the best. Everyone, please welcome Riley and Marissa. All right, everyone. It is that time for our guest or today we actually have two lovely people on. Um, it is Marissa and Mr. Sunday Morning himself, <laughs> Riley, um, you crushed it with that. That was really romantic. Um, I'm a little jealous. I'm a little pissed. <laughs> you didn't tell me you were going to do that shit. No. Um, what's up, guys? How are you? I'm good. good. How, How are, are you? you? Good. 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 How are you, Joe? I'm good. I'm chilling. Um, actually, Serena's here and she wants to come say hi. So I'm going to throw her on right now. Serena. Come Hello. down to the podcast. Look, she secured the ring, honey. I see how. I see how. We're watching. <laughs> oh, I love this for you guys. So how are much. you guys? It's good to see you. Good, good to see you too. You guys look beautiful. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh. First thing, uh, first thing she said this morning was, "I want to. I need to text Marissa." Yeah, I did. Oh. I was going to text you guys, and then they were like, well, why don't you just come and say hi? I was like, that works, too. <laughs> Look at this. All right, well, you Wait, know. Wait, so you guys got engaged together. You guys ready to get married together? Dual wedding? Sure, we can do a joint wedding. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> right. Let me tell like, you. I, I don't know about that. all that. Maybe we'll move <laughs> in together, too. Yeah, we'll throw us. Mari and Kenny oh. in. It'll just be a group thing forever. Make it a thruple. Why not? More the merrier, right? So. Yes, a double whammy. I love that. Um, all right. Well, uh, Serena's going to be on next week, so stay tuned. But this is about Riley and Marissa. So, yeah. unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to step away. All right. I'm getting kicked <laughs> off. It was good to see you guys. See you soon. Good to see you. Bye. Okay. So, uh, Riley and Marissa, how has uh, life been since proposal day? Uh, I mean, it's been good, uh, in my opinion. It's been amazing. Yeah. I think yeah. Part, you know, having to stay a secret or having to have. Uh, stayed in secret for so long, but now we're finally out. You know, we can. Uh, I can show her New York. She's here now. I have a couple spots that I want to take her to. She's already been able to jo enjoy some of the New York pizza. I got to get her some bagels. So Woohoo! 
are you guys going? Uh, are, have you guys been out yet? No. no. Yeah, either of us. We're doing it tonight too. I, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, did did you do like morning coffee this morning or no? We had a lot going on this morning. So yeah, yeah. we got at Starbucks. Yeah, and that then, but that was really it in terms of food. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, okay, you guys have been busy if finally announcing and being able to say you guys' name together in one sentence. How does that feel? How does it feel to say you guys are together? It's so exciting. Yeah. Like, and I can't believe it. I woke up this morning and I'm like, wait, I can finally reply to what you're <laughs> on a photo now. <laughs> oh, wait, were you guys, you guys were not following each other. No. We didn't know each other before either, so it was just kind of like, all right. So the fans off, we got to stay off it. Here's the thing. You guys are happy now, but, you know, when we first, this is a question for both of you, because um, when you first walk into paradise, um, you don't know what's going to happen. What was your mindset going in? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, going in, like, my mindset was I'm just going to go in, have fun. Um, if I meet someone, I meet someone. I really did want to get engaged, but... <laughs> um, um, did you think like, it was going to happen? No, I really didn't. No, we, okay. but, like, I'm manifesting this. I'm getting engaged. I'm manifesting it, getting engaged. <laughs> and then I'm like, is it going to happen? And <laughs> probably not. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, for me, it was, um, I really just wanted to be like myself. And I, just mm -hmm. and I knew like what I wanted. I wanted to come to the beach. And I wanted to find love. And I was like, you know what? I think my person could be out there on that beach and I just really want them to get to really know me. Um, I didn't know who it would be. Um, and I had never met, you know, Marissa before this. Um, so I was just like, listen, just be open, be authentic and have some fun and hopefully you can build a connection. And we did. And you know what? Actually, Riley, you weren't part of the original cast or like the original people that came down on day one. So you had a huge success story finding Marissa and you guys just clicking right off the bat. And that's not typical for a lot of people. Yeah, no. Um, you know, th at this time, like, I, I didn't know when I would come out, obviously. Um, I wasn't out there with the original cast, um, but I still had to mm -hmm. go. It didn't really matter to me when I came in. I was like, I know what I want. I'm going to fight for it. And, right. I, you know, I get it. When I lose a draw, I'm going to leave it out there, you know, all on the table. So it worked out. Came yeah, I mean, I mean, when Riley came in, um, we never saw Marissa again. Like, it, it was <laughs> no, just... <laughs> also, also, I'll say when Riley came in, all the I said this before, all the guys were shaking. They were like, "Hold on!" They were like, "Mister, still your girl." They were like, "That's because on. his muscles Riley entered before do. he it did." Okay, it's because his yeah. muscles entered before he yeah. did, and he Riley was like, "Came in like this with arms." So what's up? Arms coming through. Face. Your girl want a hug or what? Because I got that. I so, miss I, Riley's entrance. I wasn't there for it. Where were you? I don't know, but I remember I saw Riley the first time I met you. I saw you eating um, in the treehouse, and I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm Joe, and you're like, what's up? I'm Riley. And that, was our, <laughs> that was the extent of it, but it was, you know. Oh, oh. Um, so for you guys, how did you feel after your first conversation that you had? Did you think that the, the sparks were immediate, or was it like later on when you guys were like on the date that it happened? Marissa, you go first. After first conversation like when he pulled me on the beach I was like there was a connection there like there definitely is a connection we had so much in common um we could relate to a lot of things we talked about <laughs> yeah I feel good we had the conversation um right off the bat I kind of knew I was like this chemistry is there this conversation is great it's exactly what I was looking for in the, like the quick moments that we had, um, you know, in, in those early conversations we have with people, it was really mm -hmm. out there before. So I was like, you know what? That's the one I'm taking on the date. I know it. And that's what it was. Okay. And then you guys went on this date and it was very, um, it was an interesting date. I will say that. I, I, I was, it was interesting, the things that you guys yeah. had to eat. But the fact that you both watch it, or at least as a viewer, watching it back, when you saw it, not when you were in it, but when you were watching it back, were you like, we did that? Like, how did you feel watching it back? Were you, did you feel, how did you feel when you watched it back? I'll just leave it there. Well, watching it back, I was like, I know why, like, we had such a strong connection now, because especially watching him be, like, so adventurous and trying all these things. And yeah. 
just doing it together and there were even times where we just have fun with it and like be like should we taste this and then we taste it i'm not gonna lie the fact that you guys like hit your relationship off with that i don't know if that would be the date that would really send sparks flying for me but it it showed your adventurous side yeah they were like they didn't know like that type of date could turn into (laughs) what you turn it into um i felt great the first time like going through the date and I had the exact same feeling when I was watching it through. It was hilarious the first time we did it. I thought it was even funnier, you know, watching it back. And again, like to be able to create something out of a date like that, where it's supposed to be like funny and silly and then we turn it into romance. It's kind of like, right. this is how we know it's supposed to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was there was one moment when you guys were looking at each other in the day. I said, there is no food. Lance isn't there. They about to get on this table. They about to just wipe <laughs> it all away. I was like, hold on, there is some fire going on. <laughs> Wait, what'd you they say? didn't what'd need you say? other animal body parts. They just needed their cells. Okay, they didn't need anybody else. But um, as your, you know, so as your relationship starts growing in paradise, um, and Riley, so so for our listeners, Riley and I, um, when the storm hit, Riley and I were roommates so we were in the same uh hotel room and we actually had the conversation about you know um i think we're pretty similar it's not very easy to be vulnerable especially on this show and on camera it's something like i would say like we both probably went in there hoping that like we don't have to go there but you did you did and it was a powerful moment and you opened up about your family um and you did that with Marissa. Can you, you know, break that down for us? What that was like and the yeah. emotions. I think um, you kind of hit the nail on the head. It's it's one of those things where you know, we don't like those vulnerable feelings. Like if we could have gone through paradise and not had to have, have to say anything at all, you know, about our families or get emotional, we would have just cruised on through. Yeah. Uh, but for one, Marissa wanted to know more. Uh, and two, I understand that these are the type of things that you have to share in order to get what you want in terms of love and the connection and having a family. So yeah. Versus asking for these things, yes, they're difficult, but it's a part of you and you want her to be part of your life. Do it and just get it. And once you say it, it'll be out and it'll be over. You know, it's like just rip the band aid off, kind of. And, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'm happy too that, like, those are things that. I need to be able to talk about, you know, bottle those things up. And I'm glad that she was able to get those things out of me, you know, and like she cared enough about me to want to know more about me. And obviously I cared enough, you know, about her to be like, yeah, I want to share these things. So it's just all good all around. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Marissa, what's, um, and I see how happy you are. And I know when he did that, I know it was definitely help you know helped you and in, in the confidence you had in the relationship so what how did you feel about it in the moment yeah after he finally opened up i was just like thank goodness it's not me <laughs> you know because i was like yeah. in my head the whole day um just like wow what could it be maybe he's having second thoughts like maybe he's into someone else maybe he's waiting for another girl to come down you know all these things are going through my head and when he just kind of told me this i was it was just like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders <laughs> yeah yeah and, and for our listeners um you know maybe you guys will resonate with this but marissa is a very like intuitive person so i remember talking to her that day and she's just kind of like i don't know what's happening or why he's holding back and then she started thinking like maybe he doesn't want to do this maybe he's not feeling how i'm feeling and all these things but it was clearly just other things like you know when you feel i think when you feel connected with someone you know if they're holding back or you know if something's wrong and you're just a super duper intuitive person there were days where you would come up to me and just give me a hug and like not even be like girl i don't even know what's happening but i'm gonna give you this hug because you need it you know oh, so, marissa, I love marissa never she never freaked out no marissa <laughs> no so unlikely. every other day can we talk about that for a second marissa like your freak out moments that a lot of people i mean some people saw some of them but like how did you combat that and and how did you kind of work through that on the beach honestly i wouldn't have been able to do it without him like he was riley was the one who got me through each situation i'd be bottled up in my head all this time but then when i finally expressed how i'm feeling to him he would like 
give me the reassurance that I need. Like sometimes it'd be like, girl, you're tripping, but <laughs> yeah. they're like, you're like playing things to me, you know? And so it was really, a, a lot of it had to do with him. <laughs> yeah, I remember at one point um, I was having a conversation with Ivan. I don't remember at what point, but, and he was like, yeah, honestly, like, I think Riley and Marissa are the, you know, deepest, um, I think they're the deepest couple here, you know? And I was like, can you go tell her that, please? Because she over there spiraling right now. Like, come on, go tell like, her. Don't be telling me that. Go tell her that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, go tell her that for real. <laughs> he was like, okay, okay, okay. I am, I am. <laughs> Every day, everyone's like, no, you're good. I'm like, no, I don't think so. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so a lot of, I was on the Twitter yesterday. Uh, and, and black Twitter came up and they said, hold on, wait a second. They said this is the first black couple to get engaged on this show on Paradise. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, listen, like black love is all around and we love black love. So we're not trying to make it this crazy, you know, thing that can never happen. But the right. fact that you both really led with your heart, and I think that so many people, you know, resonated with your story and you staying true to yourself and Riley, you staying, Marissa staying true to herself and Riley, you staying true to yourself. How did you feel and how do you feel from that feedback of people saying that? Um, I mean, it's, it's great. Like, it's always, it's good for the culture, you know, to be able to uh, represent, you know, uh, this black love that you see on TV. Um, I think when we came into it, we just did what everybody else you know wants to do and like you come in and you want to be in a relationship you want to build a connection you want to find love and that's what we did and the fact that we look like each other is a bonus you know and i'm just everybody uh you know who goes on paradise or any other uh bachelor show is able to experience what we experience and Mm -hmm. be able to put on wow i love that um Riley, was there, um, cause this is a hard question for me to, to really nail, but like, was there an exact moment where you're like, I'm going to ask this woman to marry me? Ooh. All right. So yeah, this is the question, right? Cause everybody's like, Hey, you were after the fence. This is kind of iffy, right? What's going on? Pretty much. Like I knew the way I felt and where I was moving toward, but after the fantasy suite, it's just like, okay, you know, everything that oh, this is exactly what you've been wanting. You've been wanting the family. It starts, you know, with the fiance and the wife and the kids and all that stuff. So it's like, okay, this is still a huge decision. So, like, you know, take some time, you know, to think about it. Now, it didn't take me a lot of time, actually, to think about it. I was like, okay, this is what I'm leaning towards. I thought it through. Yep, she's the one. Okay, get ready to, you know, get down on one knee and make sure you say something. Don't fall over. That's really what it was. But really, like, I, I knew what I was going to do. And I just took some time after the fantasy suites to just make sure hammer home. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, uh, I love that. Marissa. I was always in my head. They saw <laughs> the way he messes with me. Well, he definitely messed with you, but I, I love that. And that's what when makes... he did that. Yeah. You talking about, you love that. I said, Marissa, wait till I see Riley. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> My face completely changed while we're up on the podium. Like, I'm, like, all smiling, listening to him tell his speech, and he hits me with that however. So I said. Marissa, when did you, when did you know? When did you know that you would say yes? Um, our first date. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. No, that's, that, I think that's, I yeah. love that. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're a. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. And to that, like, no, I, I even said it when, um, when I was proposing, like, I knew that love feeling was there after this. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I know what love feels like. That was definitely it. And so then it was like, okay, we're in fantasy suite. I don't want that feeling to go away. It hasn't gone away. Think about everything. Okay, boom. Now that you know the feeling is there, you love it. Keep it. Let's go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. So now we, um, we're all back in the real world. Um, you get to actually go out tonight. Um, I'm going to do the same, but what, yeah. uh, what's next for you guys? Are you, are you moving in together? Are you talking about it? What are the next steps? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get her to New York. She lives in Atlanta right now. Yeah. First things first, I got to get her and get her stuff over here to New York. Um, from there, you know, 
we meet families and friends, had some friends over yesterday, like watch the show with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we got to go back. My family's in Detroit. So I got to go take her to meet my people, her family in Montana. So we got to go way out there, you know, to meet them. And I think, yeah, it's just going to kind of grow from there. I think. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe Do you want to? Are you excited to move to New York? You want to move to New York, Marissa? Yeah, well, I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah. <laughs> Is it your first time in New York? Mm-hmm. Oh, honey, you know you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. You're going to love it. Um, So do you guys have it? Like, are we seeing Riley's family first, Marissa's family first? Just how, like, what do you, do you guys have a plan for that yet? More than likely, probably Riley's family, just because Montana is not at the top of my list. <laughs> I'd rather have my mom and my family come to Atlanta, maybe, or New York. I see. So, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. No, that'll be really, really great. Um, right now that uh, you guys are together and watching the show back and everything, what was your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing about each other? And what's your favorite thing that you saw watching back from the show that you didn't know? Like something he said in the ITM, something you said in the ITM or something like that. What Riley, answer the answer first. the answer the watching the show back and then the favorite thing about each other. Yeah. That I didn't know. Yeah, that you didn't know. From like watching the show back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't know that he was actually pretty into me or a whole bunch of things <laughs> that I thought, you know. <laughs> so that was good. It was it was nice. <laughs> how he actually felt when I'm over here breaking down on the beach and he's doing the worm. He likes me. <laughs> See, this is that. Well, this is the night one. This is what happens when you get eliminated night one. It, you you get a bunch of insecurities. Marissa's is also a night oneer, so. <laughs> <laughs> and look at her now. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hi, Tash. <laughs> okay, uh, Riley, you go. Yeah. No, I think it's pretty similar for me. I think it was. Um, what I didn't know was the reactions that she was having when I went to that VIP party. And I just think it's hilarious because you just see me out there doing the worm and all this type of stuff. Like, he wants everybody but me. Wait, but that's like a, it's like a typical girl, right? We're always like, oh my God, he's talking to girls. He's doing all this stuff. And literally they're like, looking up sports like games and the scores and like could care less could literally care less I, honestly that was the funniest thing i loved watching you do the worm and no offense marissa but it was just like i felt that meltdown okay girl i've been there <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right and then what's your what's your favorite thing about each other he's so sweet and polite and respectful when it comes to me so. i appreciate that um minus all of those and then she's always been 100% authentic and real and genuine from the start. And I love that. Uh, she's always herself and she's amazing. And those are the things that, you know, I was looking for in a partner when I got there. She just had it all and just one big, great humor. I love that. Oh. They're going to go at it on the podcast right now. Okay. <laughs> Cream. Joe, Joe has zero chill, but also we have bottles of whipped cream for you. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Could you imagine if your door rang and it was just bring bottles of whipped cream? cream. <laughs> wow, we messed up. We messed up. We messed up. We did. We did. All right. Um, oh, go ahead. Joe. No, you go, Natasha. All right, I'll go. Sure. Okay. Best, uh, best advice if you received any that you received um, in paradise. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, maybe nothing, but uh, this process works. Like, um, and I think that was from you, my man, Joe. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. I probably did say that. Sounds like something. Oh my god, here we go. I don't even know why you. Have <laughs> oh my god, yeah, please, Marissa. Look, I I'm love just... you, but just don't feed that. Don't you see what happens? Why is beyond my years? You know. <laughs> oh Jesus! There I am, just ugh. getting engaged myself, helping right. create them. What else now? Your advice for Paradise people. Yeah, and then let's jump into the game. Yep, and then we're going to jump into the game. Uh, your advice for Paradise people who are coming on. I'd say just be yourself. 1,000%. Um, that's the only way things will work. <laughs> if you just stay true to yourself. Say, be yourself. Have fun. Be open. Have a good time. Yeah. And let yourself yes. freak out. Because we all did it. And it yes. ends up working. 
<laughs> Honestly, I truthfully feel like the roller coasters of emotions um, actually open doors for really stressful conversations and like really allow you to kind of like hit things head on. Like, hey, I'm feeling this way. Hey, how are you? Like, checks you both. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the roller coasters are a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you needed those in order to kind of get there. And Taisha, la- yep. I have to ask this. Taisha, do you have any advice for these two now that they are about to be a public couple from TV? Since you have been there, you're doing it. Any advice? Oh, Lord. Had your kids, <laughs> had your wife, stay in the house, drop your phones, don't go outside. Don't, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, joking, joking. I'm benefit totally from kidding. Time. Look, and you know, Zachary's around the corner somewhere here, but I'm sure we could both help you out on that. But truthfully, it's just remember that you two are a team. And remember, it's you two. Nobody else knows what's going on between you two. And Beautiful. All these people think that they know you, but they don't know you. That person sitting next to you knows you. So that's all you got to remember. Okay. Beautiful. Fact. Fact. Okay, guys, we're going to get into a game. It is rapid fire. Okay. It is the newlywed game with Riley and Marissa. All right. Um, or I said newlywed. Sorry. Newly engaged. Newly engaged. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> really jumping forward. Okay. We can do that. I, I, I skipped over it. <laughs> no, okay. It's the newly engaged game. You guys mm-hmm. ready? So you guys, it's rapid fire. You guys have to, um, you guys have to just pick one or the other. All right. Newly engaged game. Let's go. Who initiated the first kiss? I did. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Riley. Who is the better cook? She I is. am. <laughs> okay. Good. Who's more romantic? I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I, I'm, I'm taking, taking it. it. I'm taking it. It's a tie. That's really good. That is that is good for both of you. I love that. Who is the more stubborn one? He is. Oh, get out of here. There's no way. <laughs> okay. Um are we are we not gonna step there. Uh who's the who's the more messy one? Who's more messy? Okay. Who's more funny? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, she's funny. Oh, I was gonna say that's hard because y'all both are funny, but Marissa is funny. She got you, boo. She do. Um who spends more money? She does. I probably do. <laughs> no probably about it. She does. <laughs> Who is the planner? I am. Yeah, 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 for sure. Who's more competitive? I am. He is. <laughs> who takes more? Who takes up more space in the bed? He does. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> His arms bigger than your whole left side. Yes. <laughs> uh, who takes longer to get ready? He does. I do. I was gonna say I know the answer to that. Who is more likely to cry on wedding day? Um, I would say she is, but I'm a dead baby too. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, last one. Who's always right? She is. Oh, yes, Riley. Oh, this is a match made in heaven. That was a trick question and you passed. <laughs> you guys, thank honestly, you. thank you. Um, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so happy for both of you. Um, it's yeah. nice to see you. And I want you guys to go out tonight. Um get wasted, have fun, and FaceTime us, all right? Yes. Oh, my God. Can you FaceTime me, too? Because I will be wasted because I'll be, I'm in Sonoma, so. (laughs) Can you send me your Venmo? I want to send you guys some money for a bottle of wine on on Zach and I. Champagne Uh around for all of you. Aww. Thanks so much. Thanks for having us, guys. I'm going to see you guys. Sounds good. All right, Riley and Marissa, um, I love seeing them again. We all pretty much got engaged together um they'll always be a part of my life now uh, i'm so happy for them this show was uh it was wild we said it we teased it from the beginning paradise was going to be a wild ride and it yep. sure was it sure was and yep i left uh sad but i'm not sad no more y'all that was a few months ago i'm good I'm all right. that I'm head half away <laughs> <laughs> look you guys, uh, again, I am so incredibly happy for you guys both going down to the beach. I think it was a crazy ride, but you guys learned so much. Joe, you got freaking engaged and you have an insanely amazing fiance. Natasha, you gained a ton of knowledge, but also you truly learned a lot about yourself, I think. And I think that this is just really 
propelling yourself to really find the love of your life. And I'm so excited for both of you. I told y'all that it was going to be a crazy ride going down to the beaches of Mexico. Um, but at the end of the day, I think it was worth it. And um, as much as I love to talk about paradise and hang here with you guys, we have an amazing season of The Bachelorette coming up on October 19th. Michelle, our freaking girl, her season is starting. Um, I mean. And I have to say, I love y'all, but I'm going to go hop on over to Happy Hour with Becca and host that podcast with her um, just mm. for Michelle's season. So... Okay. Hold it down for me over here. I mean, whatever. We're gonna we're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you for the time being, but I'm going to. I mean, whatever, Tasha. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna miss. Yeah, we'll miss you for the time being, but I'm gonna listen to Happy Hour and I'm gonna judge you. So. Wow. Well, I'm gonna listen to Happy Hour and I'm gonna miss you. Oh well, thanks, Natasha. And honestly, Joe, if you didn't judge me, then it it just wouldn't be right. So (laughs) send me your critiques. Um, I love that. But you guys, I love you guys so much, and I guess I'll see you guys later on Happy Hour. Yep. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Okay. And you know what? Thank you to all our listeners. You guys show up every week and we really appreciate it. And thank you to Riley and Marissa. And as always, make sure to subscribe and submit all your burning questions. Check us out on social and like, comment, DM us. You know where to find us at ClickbaitBN on Instagram, Batch Nation, Twitter, and Bachelor Nation on Facebook. And share your stories with us. We want to know what clickbait you guys are getting into this week. Subscribe to our podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the Wondery app, or wherever you guys are listening right now. There will be another person joining us next week. And you guys got to tune in to see who. (laughs) Bye, y'all.